What up, amigos? Welcome back for part two of this episode. Excelente. So, we're online right now, which I want to make sure of it. And we, it was 20 minutes last part. Now it's going to be 25 minutes, respectfully. So, before time dwindles away, let's, let's surf our way there and wish me best of luck. There he is, another legendary bird Pokemon. I recognize that cry. Have we seen this before? We have, amigos, the legendary ice bird, Articuno. But this is gonna be quite dangerous because Articuno well, as an ice element, so how fast is it? Luckily, my duck tree is faster, but oh man, that was scary. Ice beam is very dangerous. Dog trio can easily get KO'd from it. So I'll let it use sand attack as far as it can go. I had a bad feeling it wasn't gonna be lucky for long. Because it's one KO hit for that much power. I gotta be careful to not run away this time. Or press no. So I better get Dugtrio revived. I'm not gonna bother using a uh, Lemonade because it's gonna faint anyway, even at full health. So let me think here. I don't want to weaken it yet, because we, now we know the truth. It does make it worse. Hmm. I'll try my luck, and hopefully the sand attack will work with us. Okay, good. Use Peck, so you're going to use sand attack. So that's a third one. Okay, fortunately use Peck, but... Okay, good, but we gotta use sand attack now before it. Okay, unfortunately, Doug Trio couldn't survive. Oh, what? Make a last ounce of strength, Doug Trio. Thank you. Just one more. All right, Doug Trio, return. You definitely deserve your rest. Barfree will take from here. <sighs> Even Butterfree is nerve wracking because Bug is weakened by ice. Okay, you got him. Good job, Butterfree. Let's try using one Pokeball and see how our luck goes. And if it doesn't catch a one try, we're going to have to use Confuse Ray. All right, we did it, amigos. Not bad. And truly, a first try, as I gave my word. Articuno, Freeze Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon. It freezes water that contained in winter air and makes it snow. That's amazing, Pokemon. Nope. Excelente, amigos. Second bird Pokemon, Articuno. Give us a fee, Pikachu, Pikachu. Yeah, my mousy friend. I know you're tired, Diglett, but when Doug Trio, please send us back. And thank you. You earned your rest. That's true, no doubt. Weaken your Pokemon makes it even worse than it really needed to. I didn't even attack it.
Now you know, amigos. This is no joke. I didn't even attack it at all. Let's check its stats on Articuno while we're here. Make this interesting for the episode. I would love to try to go to the... to get the other legendary bird Pokemon, and you can guess what it is. Because Articuno has been captured in Moltres, there's only one left now, and that would be Zapdos. And you know what that would be? It's actually located in the power plant. So, Articuno, let's check its stats. Articuno has pretty good stats, like Moltres. See, where are you, Moltres? There you are. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to withdraw you. But we'll check your stats anyway. Oh, no wonder why it was able to go first. My Butterfree was able to go a lot faster because... Wait, where's the speed? Oh, I see. Arcuna was just a little bit more... Slower compared to my Butterfree. That's why it was way more. It went first compared to my. The Articuno. Okay, I need to get my. Where's my Pidgeot, by the way? There we are. And how much time do we have for. My Gyarados to train. It still has about less than 4,000 points to develop, so... Let me see here. So two repels. I don't know if it's going to be enough. We're going to need more anyway. So we'll, we'll invest some more. Oh, <laughs> the war... Well, that was good. that was good money's worth for the... For the repel to get the Articuno, so no one complain. But I hope you give me the likes for that, amigos. That was a pretty epic fight. And thanks to Doug Trio, Courage, helping me help me through, and Butterfree. They are really a good team together. So thank you guys. Oh, I forgot to use a repel. Dog on it. <laughs> So I gotta end up getting a weaker Pokemon, so I'm not gonna bother. So we'll just flee. I'll still go to the Safari Zone, still today. But we'll see if we have time. Maybe I'll just stick to a 45 minute episode after all. Because it went pretty good today. So last episode was uh, about 20, 20 minutes. Alone, and it was so close, more than I thought. So, we'll give ourselves 25 minutes like normally planned. That way, people don't have to see the TS parts as much, and it makes it worth it to see the other episodes. Anyway, so, that's great. I'll happily accept this. This, be, uh, this, this will become a pretty good episode after all. Even better if I even get lucky to get a rare Pokemon. Which I doubt is even gonna happen. But you'll never know. Just don't want to doubt the belief yet, right, amigos? I know in the past I played this game and had a lot of trouble with them catching the three for Pokemon Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos in the past, but mainly because I used to be one of those people how you, you're supposed to weaken your Pokemon. To like near zero, in fact. 
than I used to do in the past, but that actually makes it more worse than you really need to. In fact, I actually remembered something, because when you actually throw a Pokeball, even with sleep in, in the right elements, but if their HP is way too low, it actually cuts the probability way more than it was to start off with, in fact. Because when I throw a Ultra Ball one time, it actually completely avoided it. So, hope that I find that helpful, amigos, because you really can't really express any more better example than that. Like this today and, and yesterday, from Ultras and Articuno. Well, both I honestly did without restarts and without... Missing them, which I never thought I would actually do it, but I'm proud to say it makes my let's play pretty worth it. Able to record and learn something new, and with it, without restarts, it makes the let's play a little more exciting. was a big pain because that was a mistake of me on my part. If you, uh, if you wanted to compare the differences catching Pokemon, like Snorlax low in HP, that was not fun. It actually can get very infuriating, in fact, for nowadays, even today. Especially trying to catch all Pokemon, which I'm not doing that. Just doing it for fun and to try to beat the game anyway. Because this game holds dear in my heart. I'm trying with Pikachu, my friends of my Pokemon. Personally, I think this is more fun to go on adventure, because I love adventures anyway. Good job, Gyarados. And we it's about 13 minutes. So, so we have to ask a question. But before I actually go to the Safari Zone, let's give my Gyarados a chance to heal, and then we'll change it to another teammate of our group. Thank you, Nostroy. So that leaves us two more Pokemon left to train, and one more legendary bird, Zapdos, located in the power plant that we all know now. So let's see, we want to keep Gyarados. Let's see, I think I'll deposit Lapras for a little while, until later. train with next. Snorlax and Charmeleon is left. So let's get Snorlax out. Snorlax is normal, but it has some mission, which is really good against Snorlax and Rattlers. Okay, off to Safari Zone. So I don't know what luck holds today. So cross fingers, amigos, because it will get tedious. So don't hope you don't mind the fast forward because this is where you'll need the fast forward. It's up to the point where I'll need to use. Chancy that was around the one of the areas. But 
other than that, you find all the common Pokemon that you actually capture. I think I'll just do one Safari Zone for today and give my small ass a chance to train and brief more before I end the episode. That way it becomes less boring at this point because it's not really fun anymore. Like, level 7 chance that he does exist here, but he got to stay the whole entire time. Uh, wait a second. Now that I have Gyarados, I just realized... Do I have Gyarados? Perfect timing. I can use Gyarados to get onto my favorite spot I used to go. And hopefully it would make it look like you get a Pinsir, because that's where I found it last time, near that one region. That's at level 15. Nothing that's going to make a difference or anything, but this is usually my favorite spot that I always like to look for level, level 7 Chansey. So they do, they, they are found here, but we never actually found a level 7 Chansey here. That would make it pretty cool if we can get our eyes on one in the camera. But... Because it's all rare. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't wanna put my hopes up pretty much, because you just can't count it. We'll get ourselves about 200 steps, and no luck holds, we'll go to another one for Scyther or Pinsir. Pincer, which I didn't know about that until then. But Pincer can also be found here, if I'm not mistaken. using the fast forward. Maybe that will change our... I don't know if it's going to make a difference or not. Maybe I'll just try for a few times and maybe fast forward from now on. Because I feel like nothing's going to make a difference. Whoa! No kidding! Cool, at least I found a Scyther in this region that's not as likely, but sadly ran away. Even if I did throw a ball, it's not gonna make much difference since it's so hard to catch one. Wow. 
we get entertained from that, amigos? That was pretty cool. Seeing one of the rarest species of the Safari Zone. The time's going fast before we even catch one. Another Scyther opportunity, amigos. And there it goes. Well, darn it. Well, looks like I'm getting kind of lucky able to find two Scythers in this region. Because at times you never even get lucky to even record even any Scythers moments. throw a Pokeball? It's not that simple. You can't actually just throw a Pokeball at him. The minute you throw a Pokeball at it, they always pop out every time you do, so it could be futile. see a level 15 Scyther I was not expecting today. In fact, I got, I, I've actually encountered two of them in one day, so that's really rare. So, hope you find that amusing. I don't remember if I healed or not, but just to be on the safe side. Let me think here. So we've got two rep max repels, and that's just all we need mostly because it's going to be about another additional minute. You know what? I think we might as well take our time to prepare here while we're at it because it's almost about the end of the episode anyway. How many Pokeballs do we use? Do we use one? I only use one Pokeball all of the Ultra Ball of the Articuno? No way. I'm gonna keep the 26, 29 Pokeballs for now and buy some more Max Repels. I'll buy six. I think we can withdraw something. I mean, what teams are we holding? Well, I think about it. We're almost getting close to the Safari Zone, so that's what we'll make a mega kick. This one holds Sky Attack. I think I'll hold the Sky Attack for now, but I'm not going to hold the Mega Kick, so I think I'm going to change it for something else. Oh, there is no more room, so I'm going to have to take something. I'll take the 
HMO2. And you ask me, why am I taking the H HMO2? Well, one of my Pokemon is almost at full potential that I thought it might be a good idea to hold on to. And I believe that helps fly, if my memory serves. I mean, serves, I mean. And that holds. Oop, I pressed cancel. I didn't mean one. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that is fly. Good. And make sure I have strongs on my group. Yep. And Butterfree and Pidgeot will be there. But I'll withdraw when we get to the Pokemon Center to the near the power plant. Well, I think that should be today all for today, amigos. Sorry I didn't catch any rare Pokemon and didn't get Scyther, but we'll keep trying. Hope you entertained that we got lucky enough to find two Scythers in one episode. So, hope you get entertained from that. And give me likes for getting Articuno on the first try and with no joke. It really had, did happen, on my honest truth. And in my heart, I'll always be proud of myself for that, no matter what anybody else says. Have a great day, amigos, and don't miss the next episode. We're going to take on a try attempt to get Z Zapdos, the final legendary bird Pokemon. Can't wait for that. Adios for now.